So to start, how about you briefly describe the research that's taking place in your lab at the moment? Okay. So um, yeah, I'm one of the professors here in the college. Um, I've been at URI for just barely over 20 years now, which seems like an, a very long uh, time, but it's been a lot of fun. And um, in my research area, I do what is simple, most simply described as drug metabolism research. So we're looking to see of, it could be a, a FDA approved drug, you know, that's prescribed or the same term is used for environmental chemicals, things in our diet, essentially anything that's not naturally synthesized by our own body. So we take in all of these different compounds and our body wants to excrete them. It wants to get rid of them. So while uh, for a, a drug, for instance, uh, we want it to be effective for some amount of time, we also want it to be removed from the body in a certain amount of time. So these um, enzyme pathways that are called drug metabolism pathways um, end up changing uh, the, the, the molecules just enough that they can be um, excreted from the body. So I look at um, the experimental methods that are used to determine the rate of clearance, um, and that's in a nutshell. There's a lot of different uh, ways we study that, but um, in a nutshell, that's probably uh, a good description of what I've been doing for the past 20 years. Okay, and what techniques or practices do you utilize in your lab? My favorite techniques are those that have something to do with bio, uh, biochemistry, analytical kind of chemistry, HPLC. Um, it's one of the major separation methods. Um, we've been doing enzyme incubations with um, different enzyme sources. So we took some uh, little bits of liver tissue um, that one of our colleagues had from her animal treatments. And we um, did things, we homogenized it, we isolated microsomes. So the microsomes are the source for the enzymes. So, you know, these terms don't necessarily mean much um, until you're actually working with the compounds. So it's so much fun to get in the lab and actually really see what all of these terms mean.